this week on Carolina All Out. Well, we're on Phelps Lake today fishing with Chris Smith and Dion Kerr, and today is going to be all about bass fishing here on the yep. lake. Oh, oh ain't nothing wrong with that fish. <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with that fish. It's awful fun this morning, ain't it? It is. <laughs> there you go. And he wanted it bad. I mean, he just engulfed it. Wow. Oh, there you go, Dion. Probably my biggest bass of the year. This fishery is something else to me. Yeah. Yep. You know? Look at that. Didn't quite. Oh, there, there we go. go. There you go. Oh, that looks like a nice one, Chris. Oh, -hoo -hoo. hey, that's a nice fish. That is a nice fish, Chris. Hey. Lake Phelps Largemouth. This is Carolina All Out. Way back in season one, we took a trip to Lake Phelps to do some fishing for pumpkin seed. We had a great time, and although it wasn't my first visit to Lake Phelps, it was the first time I got to get in the water and interact with this fishery. While we were there, we saw a number of good bass cruising through the beds, and we'd always heard that the bass fishing was great on the lake. Fast forward to today, and I'm meeting up with District 1 fisheries biologists Chris Smith and Dion Kerr to try our hand at these old bass. Well, we're on Phelps Lake today fishing with Chris Smith and Dion Kerr, and they're biologists with Wildlife Resources Commission, and it's, today is gonna be all about bass fishing here on yep. the lake. And so, we just came through a pretty windy setup on the north side of the lake. So we yep. came here, and it looks like everything's just calmed down, and it's gonna be a pretty good day of fishing, huh? Yeah, hope so. Hopefully we can catch some, uh, some nice largemouth. So the, the name of the game is also to be up in this grass. And you said there's emergent grass here that you're calling it. Yep. And the fish are kind of hanging inside of that or just out to the edge of it. Yep, inside, they usually uh, hang out inside, especially when it gets hotter, the sun's out. Um, in the mornings, they'll kind of patrol the edges of the grass. Gotcha. Um, and, and we're just kind of beating the edges, beating inside some of the thinner grass sections, um, trying, to, trying to catch some fish. All right, here we go. Go. <clears throat> All right, fish on this morning. Man, I love that topwater bite. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. This is we can get him out of there. He he went after it aggressively. Get him out of those lily pads there. Oh yeah, man, these bass are so consistent here. Oh boy, look at that. And he wanted it bad. I mean, he just engulfed it. Wow. Let's bring him up here, show everybody. It's beautiful. Look at this all the way in his mouth. Let's bring him up here for everybody to see. <laughs> Man, Lake Phelps is showing up this morning. Just a beautiful bass here this morning on Lake Phelps. Gosh, those look nice. Fat, healthy. Chris and Dion are looking after these fish all the time and dealing with them on a regular basis. So they're showing up. I want to do it again. Hopefully more will more make it happen. Hopefully like we'll get that. some more uh, more bites. Yeah. What do you think? Hey, a couple pounds? Yeah. Three. Three, Three pounds. pounds? Take it. I'll take it. Lake Phelps. Mm. Oh, there you go. Oh man, the frog is working. The frog is working today. Oh, oh I just lost it. Didn't quite. Oh, there we go. There you go. Oh, that looks like a nice one, Chris. 
Oh, hoo -hoo. Woo. Let's get it in here. Might pull a double out of here. They're starting to pick it up now. It's hard to get them out of that stuff, ain't it? Yeah, that's why I got some braid on here. Yep, braid is the number. It's definitely, you gotta have some braid in here. Woo, look at that. Check him out. Let me get out of the way so everybody can see this fish here. This is a nice fish. Mm. <laughs> He's got your wheels squeaking, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's a nice fish. That is a nice fish, Chris. Hey. He's like five pounds or so, ain't he? Oh, yeah. Look at that fish, man. Woo, look at that. <laughs> Some quality fish here today. Chris, that's nice, man. <laughs> that was a good fight. Yeah, that was right up in that stuff, man. He just came up and swallowed it. These fish are aggressive this morning. They are, they're hungry. <laughs> Fishing out here on Lake Phelps. Chris and these uh, guys are looking after this fishery on a, on a regular basis. You guys been doing a lot of sampling here recently. So you've been seeing yep. fish like this in here? Yeah, we've been seeing these you know, four to four to six pound pound bass here. Um, we were out here earlier in April, um, and they were they were probably just about spawning then. Okay. Um, so they were nice and fat. Spawned out now, I guess. Yep. Yeah. Yep. They they spawn early here. You know, the shallow water warms up Heats quicker. Up quicker. So. Yeah. Well, I've already got my attention over here because I just heard <laughs> one just. So we're gonna let this one go and get yep. back after it again. Awesome. Let's right. do it. Yeah, there he goes. Carolina All Out is brought to you by AgriSupply, Home, Hardware, Farm. Carolina Cooker, Tools, Cooks, Legends, you create the tradition. The North Carolina Marine and Estuary Foundation, building world-class fisheries and thriving coastal economies. And by the Better Fishing with Two Bald Biologists podcast. Lake Phelps is a 16,000 acre beast and it holds a strong population of largemouth bass. With no real structure to speak of toward the middle of the lake, we're relegated to working the banks and specifically lily pads and grass with soft plastics and topwater baits. There you go, there you go Chris. Good countdown. That was, yeah, that thing, they are aggressive this morning. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this, you might have another one, another person PB up here on, on the felt. <laughs> oh, ain't nothing wrong with that fish. Ain't nothing wrong with that fish. Look at that fish. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there you go, Chris. Hey, look at that. Chris, you're going to do two PBs in one day, ain't you? Maybe more. Good gosh, that's a beautiful fish. Oh. <laughs> this is awful fun this morning, ain't it? It is. <laughs> <laughs> that Man. is a nice fish. And I mean, when they hit it, it's just they like, hit it and it's gone. like somebody dunks a bucket <laughs> in the water, right? <laughs> that's great, man. That is awesome. Man, Lake Phelps is showing up today. Let me get back at my, my frog back in the water there. Go ahead. That's awesome, Chris. Good job. Okay, let's put him in. Let's get after the next one. Awesome. Huh? All right. Oh, I see a bass coming to it now. Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, he's got it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Picked it up. Yeah, they like the worms. We got worm playing now, so, oh, man, there ain't nothing wrong with these fish here on this on this lake, Chris. Look at this. <laughs> oh, my. My, let me keep him down, keep him from jumping, but there was no, there was no mistaking. Let's get him up for everybody to see here. Just another nice fish there. <laughs> there you go. Let's let everybody get that sunlight on it. I like it. 
That's a good looking fish. We've changed, yeah, and good healthy looking fish. We changed the tactics up a little bit. We've been throwing frogs this morning, but um, uh, I decided to switch over to a wacky rig worm, and uh, I probably the first real cast that I made, we pulled up this fish here. So, it's a good looking fish. It is. I love it. I could do it all day long. <laughs> I like catching fish. <laughs> we'll let him go. Oh, there you go, Dion. There you go, Dion. Ooh. Hey, I like that. He's doing it. Nice. I'm oh, sorry, Chris. That That's all right. Yeah, You're good for him. What'd you, what'd you hook him up on, Dion? I switched over to just a red worm. Red worm, yeah. okay. I'd like to know what's going on. Probably my biggest bass of the year. This fishery is something else to me. Yep. Yep. You know, look at that. Yep. Yeah, I mean, we're constantly catching fish this size or bigger. Chris has two nice. On your ones. samples, you're big. Oh fish yeah, on, on our samples and just yeah, fishing just the fishing, day. Fishing yep. the day. Yeah, yep. these fish are just fantastic. Beautiful, clean yeah. looking fish too. Beautiful. Beautiful. Back. More Lake Phelps fishing after these messages. Carolina All Out is brought to you by AgriSupply, home, hardware, farm. Carolina Cooker, tools, cooks, legends, you create the tradition. DNZ Products, when it comes time to take your trophy, accuracy is a must. The Dixie Deer Classic, the South's premier sportsman's event. There you go. There you go. That's working out for you. Don't let I him guess this way. All right. Now let's see if I can get over there where you guys are going to. Dion. He's gonna catch up with a vengeance, I ain't know, he? I know. Not in your way, Chris. <clears throat> no, no, you good. All right, yeah. It's another quality fish. Look at that. Another nice Lake Phelps largemouth. Got some spinal issues, but put up a good fight though. There you go. There you go. Here we go. Got almost a double here. He was popping it. There you go, Chris. Another good one. I got rim, I think, working on mine, huh? Yep, there we go. Not as big as, I don't think I've got a nice fish as you got. That's a, this is a good fish. That is a good fish. <laughs> a double here on Lake Phelps today. Come on, make it a triple, Dion. <laughs> hey, look at here. I'll bring mine in. And... Oh, yes. Another nice fish, Chris. Yeah, he's gonna have a he's gonna have a big bag today. If we were, how about that? Well, I don't make the cut, but <laughs> still, it's still catching bass on Lake Phelps. What can I say? That's beautiful, lovely, beautiful morning. It is beautiful morning, man. I can't ask for better. Catching fish like this, and well, I guess we'll drop these off and let's get started again. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> oh, he's got. Oh, there you go. There we go. That's nice. Ah, that color it works. It works. 
had a little bit of red in it. And that's what Mr. Ben Rick said. Oh yeah, nice fish. Nice fish. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pretty fish. Wow, look at the really been working on the beds, huh? Yep. Really dragging that that tail there. Nice. Phelps Lake or Lake Phelps, as most people would call it there. Fishing out here with Chris Smith, District One biologist, and Dion. Now Dion here, we now Dion, you're part of the District One as well? Yes, yes. Okay. And uh, so we're just sitting, we're just basically working these edges, right, yep. Chris? Yep, we're just working the grass. Um, <clears throat> in Lake Phelps, you know, this the grass, the emergent grass here is, is pretty much the, the only habitat in the lake, um, at least here on the south side of the lake. Um, the north shore's got some flooded timber, some flooded, flooded cy cypress, um, but here on the south shore, you know, these fish like to be up in this grass, um, hiding, getting some cover. Um, getting some protection from the sun, right. especially when it's hot during the summer. Um, they'll, they'll get into this grass and, and kind of hunker down. There we go. All right, Chris. All right. <clears throat> Got one right here. That's nice. Another nice fish right there. <clears throat> the bite's picking up a little bit, Chris. Hope so. Hey, we're about, right. about a twin right there, don't we? That is very cool. Pretty fish. All right, let's try it again, huh? Holding the mouth right here. Yeah, that works. Carolina All Out is brought to you by the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission, Farms and Land Realty, selling land is what we do, and by these fine sponsors. Welcome back to Appetite for the Outdoors. Today we've got our Carolina Cooker two burger fryer and we are going to whip up some hush puppies for you. We're also going to take some pimento cheese, thin it out with a little bit of buttermilk just to make a nice easy pimento cheese dip for the hush puppies. First thing I'm gonna do is take my hush puppy mix. I'm gonna add it to the bowl and I'm gonna add my water to the bowl. And we're just gonna take this guy and mix it up. All right, we've got our hush puppy batter mixed up. Next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna borrow our little hush puppy maker here. I'm gonna get it loaded up, get my oil hot, and then go to the fryer. We've got our oil nice and hot at 350. I'm just gonna take this and start slicing off some hush puppies. Okay, so the hush puppies are getting nice and golden brown while those are heating up. I'm gonna go ahead and make my buttermilk pimento cheese dip. I've got this buttermilk here, just gonna add it. I'm gonna add half and mix and then see where we're at. That's about what I want. I don't want it too much more runny than that, so I'm gonna leave that there. These have been floating for two, going on three minutes. I think we're good to go here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull these. You wanna put these off onto either a plate line with paper towels or a wire rack, something to let that oil drain off. And there we go, nice simple side dish. Made very easy with our Carolina Cooker two burner fryer. Definitely try out this buttermilk pimento cheese dip to go with hush puppies. I think it's a great addition to them. I'm Jason with Carolina Cooker. Let us help you navigate the seasons, both in the kitchen and in the field. There you go. <clears throat> that you can catch fish at. Right. And you can wade. Okay, I'm gonna give Mr. Ben Ricks all the credit here because all of a sudden we changed up and uh, we got, <laughs> now we're catching fish and he was right about that. Oh, he's got yeah, look at that. There's another one. <laughs> now these fish are spawned out, you think, pretty much? Yep, yeah. I, I think so. You know, with Lake Phelps being so shallow, yeah. it gets warm pretty right. quickly. Yeah. So they, they spawn a little bit earlier. They start bedding a little bit earlier here than, than say in some of our local rivers here. Gotcha. That's a good thing to know. Well, this we got him hooked good. He wasn't going anywhere, that's for sure. Wow. It's really fun here in late March, early April. Um, when... Got him. Got him, no. We're just pulling him out of this hole. Oh, this is a good one. This is a good fish. I see him. Wow, this little place right here is really productive, huh? Wow, they and they just seem to be a really got a real aggressive nature to them, don't they? Pretty, pretty fish. I think.
think we get to hold two up again together. Yeah, this fishery's great, and I know I've caught a few just incidentally when I was yep. over here pumpkin seed fishing, but yep. I mean, it's the first time we've targeted them, so this is great, Chris. Yeah, this is great. You can catch these size fish all day. Oh, man, who wouldn't want that? <laughs> And they fight great too. They do. They, I mean, really, they seem to be a bigger fighter fish than yeah. I remember on Jordan last time I was so over if, there. So if, uh, if we look at the genet, or when we look at the genetics of these bass, um, these bass are a lot, um, have a lot more Florida genes. So the Florida oh. bass, um, and we see that along the coast uh, here in North Carolina. Um, the bass here are predominantly Florida, Florida bass. Florida strain. Okay, um, got you. They're. Uh, they're what we call mutts, you know, they're intergrades, they're mixed, um, you know, 70, 80% Florida bass, 90% Florida bass. Um, here in Lake Phelps, we see them, we see them about 90 to 95% Florida bass genetics. Okay, and so that might be a little reason why a little bit more aggressive maybe, yeah. or, or Re at least fight or harder. Reason why they fight a little harder. Ah, well. They get, they get a little bigger, they fight a little harder. So. I like it. Calm down. Man. There you go. There you go, Dion. Dion. Ooh. Jumper. There you go. Man, we're just having a good time today now. I'll tell you what, these fish are, and I think that red might have a little something to do with that. That's, a, that's another bite right there on the, what's got some red tint to it. All right, the carp fisherman finally strikes. <laughs> the carp fisherman strikes. There you go. Oh, he's a little darker, isn't he? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna start doing these biologist quiz. What's the Latin name of that thing you got in your hand there? This is my Cropterus salmoides. Because we're gonna assume this is a Florida bass. The northern bass is my Cropterus nigricanus. Hey, he's been brushed up on his, on his terms. Since experiencing the bass fishery on Lake Phelps myself, I'm inclined to believe all the stories I've heard about it are true. It was a great day on the water. I love fishing in our great state, and if you want to experience Lake Phelps for yourself, go to ncwildlife.org and start your homework assignment there. We hope you enjoyed the show, and remember, our state is your next adventure. Thanks for watching Carolina All Out, North Carolina's favorite hunting and fishing show. Bad Daisy.